Hello, my name is Melissa, a third year medical student, and today I'm going to be sharing with all of you how I consistently ranked first on my med school exams. I believe in the value of simplicity, and since starting med school, I've been using the same three study strategies every single day, no matter what. If you watched my How I Studied for Board video, you'll notice that these are basically the exact same three steps, but in a slightly different order. Step one, initial learning. Assuming you're new to the information being presented, this first step is going to be your first pass through the material. My learning vehicle of choice is watching videos at two times speed, but this first step could be utilizing your school's PowerPoints, your in-house lectures, or even reading a textbook. However you like to first get that information into your brain constitutes step one. Personally, I prefer to watch my school's in-house lectures sped up as my first pass through the material. Step two, spaced repetition. You've probably heard that spaced repetition is the golden nugget for memorization, which is why it's step two of my three-step learning plan. Personally, I'm team Anki, but if you don't like Anki, any form of spaced repetition will do. But the thing is that whatever you pick, you have to do it every day. The Anki cards that I use are the cards that I personally made during my step one initial learning phase. So this way, the cards are the exact style that I want, they're tailored to my strengths and weaknesses, and I can include as many anime memes as I want. Step three, practice questions. Finally, the last step in my three-step study strategy is practice questions or active recall. This is probably the most powerful of the three tools that I use, and I start to implement active recall or practice questions about three to four days prior to my exams. Some of my go-to practice questions during the first two years of didactic were the Red Robin Review Book, the University of Utah's Path Practice Questions, which I'll link down in the description below, and sometimes the practice questions from Sketchy Med. But I found that you can pretty much find practice questions on almost any topic in med school if you look hard enough. For subjects that I can't find practice questions for, or that I can't find questions that are specific enough to the information my school wants us to learn, I'll instead call up my friends and we'll phone quiz each other. And so what this basically is, is that I'll call them up and then we will rapid fire ask each other a question on the material that we're both learning. And I constitute this as a form of practice question because the whole point of this last step is active recall. And that's it! These three steps constitute the main pillars of my studying and have consistently helped to rank me first in my med school class. The beauty of this method is that it automates my studying. Whenever I started a new course, I would never have to think about where to start or what to do or where do I even begin. I would just know instantly to jump into the videos at two times speed, then Anki, and then practice questions over and over and over again. And I pretty much stuck with this method about 99% of the time for every single course. Even the courses like physio that tend to be a little bit more critical thinking heavy compared to the other memorization based courses in med school, I still would mostly stick to this three step plan. And one of my favorite things about this three step study strategy is that it still gives me time to have a life outside of med school. I still have time to go to the gym to hang out with my friends and to get plenty of sleep at night, all of which are integral to optimizing your efficiency in med school as well as your sanity. To be honest, a lot of times, about a day or two before I had an exam, I actually found myself running out of things to do because I had gone through all the material, I would seen all of my Anki cards, and I had gone through every practice question I could find and phone quizzed all of my friends. So yeah. One of the reasons I've been relying on these three steps for the past two years of medical school is also because it's simple. By automating my studying into just these three steps, I was able to unlock the real secret to success in med school, which is consistency. So give this strategy or any of these steps a try and let me know what you think. I hope you found this video helpful. 
Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. If you'd like to see how I studied for board, click here.